Hello, I'm Renee with the Bee and Bear Homestead and my garden is still exploding with cucumbers. So I'm making some dill pickle relish tonight. I recently posted a video of sweet pickle relish, so check that out if you like sweet relish. But in case you're looking for a recipe for dill relish, that's what I'm making tonight. So I will show you the steps all along the way. As always, when you are canning and preserving food, start with washing your hands, wash your produce, and clean the surfaces that you'll be working on. It's the most important step for food preservation safety. The recipe that I will be using tonight comes from the book Saving the Season by the author Kevin West. This is one of my favorite uh, preservation books. It's really pretty and it's full of good recipes. So I'll be making dill relish, which yields four pints. And I'll show you all the steps along the way. Here are the supplies needed to make this dill relish. You need three pounds of cucumbers, one pound of onions. You'll need kosher salt, a half cup kosher salt, white wine vinegar, sugar, garlic cloves, dill seeds and dill weed, mustard seeds, and fennel seed. I actually am out of my mustard seeds, so I'll be using ground mustard, which you can substitute as a one for one ratio. Just like in my last recipe for relish, I'll be using a food mandolin to help me cut up my produce fast. The first step is to cut up your cucumbers and onions into about a quarter inch dice. So you can either do that by hand or if you have a food mandolin, like I do, I'm cutting uh, slices in my cucumber perpendicular to the blades I have in the food mandolin. And then you can just run your cucumber the blade. Be of course careful with your fingers, which is why you've got the hand guard. And uh, then it yields a nice chopped up cucumber. So I'm going to chop up all of my three pounds of cucumbers and one pound of onions in that way. I have chopped up my onions and cucumbers. Make a nice fine chopped mess of vegetables there and now I'm adding a half cup of kosher salt so you do want to use um, kosher salt or pickling salt use what the recipe specifies but the reason you tend to not use plain table salt in pickling recipes is the iodine can discolor your vegetables over time and it might lead to an off flavor as if they are sitting in your pantry for any length of time. So I'm stirring my kosher salt all through my mixture of cucumbers and onions. It's also good to use a ceramic bowl like this or just a non-metal bowl when you are making pickles. And now I'm just going to cover my mixture with a layer of ice. So you just have to let it sit, let the salt mix with your vegetables covered in a layer of ice for two hours. It's been two hours and my cucumbers and onions have been in the salt with a layer of ice over them for two hours. So the ice has kept them nice and cool, but the ice has mostly melted. And the next step is to drain your mixture into a colander. And then rinse it with a kettle full of boiling water. All right, I've got my cucumbers, onions, 
in a colander in my sink and here's a kettle full of boiling water just boiled water all right I'm gonna let that drain and sit and get my spices and vinegar going for the next step okay uh, while my cucumbers and onions were waiting in that two hour gap there um, and now that they are draining in the sink I have combined together the spices and the vinegar for the final part of the recipe so in my pot I have three cups of white wine vinegar probably distilled white vinegar would work too but white wine tastes a little nicer a half a cup of sugar we got two cloves of garlic that we grew in our garden this year um, two teaspoons of fresh dill seed so we also got some dill seed from my uncle's garden so I've got some fresh dill seed in here one teaspoon of fennel seeds and I used one tablespoon of ground mustard the recipe calls for mustard seeds but you can use ground mustard in a one-to-one -one ratio with mustard seed and I've held back a quarter cup of minced fresh dill weed. Mine dried a little bit, so I don't have um, quite a quarter cup, but it's only just recently dried. It, it dried from the garden um, from this year. So that we will add in uh, right before we can it. And I'm gonna let the liquid, uh, let the sugar dissolve here. Once the sugar has dissolved, which it looks like it has, I'll add the cucumbers and onions. So we're adding the vegetable mixture uh, to the vinegar and sugar mixture. And once you've got it, all in your pot you're going to want to get your mixture to boiling you want to bring this mixture to a boil reduce your heat to medium and then simmer it for about five minutes after it's been um, simmering for about five minutes you can add your dill weed and then you'll be ready to can your relish in a boiling water bath. While my relish comes to a boil in the pot next in the stove, I've also got my jars sterilized and um, in hot water here on the my canning pot, which is just a large stock pot. I like to use this for small batch canning. Um, and I've got the heat on low below it. So this way my jars have been cleaned in really hot soapy water and they're in hot water in my pot. So that means they'll be sterile. And um, as soon as my mixture in the pot next door has been boiling uh, or simmering for five minutes, um, I know my jars are already clean and I'll be able to can it up uh, quickly knowing that it's all sterile. So in the meantime, I'm going to clean up the area next to my stove for canning. Okay, my cucumbers have been boiling for five minutes and I just added the fresh dill leaves that were all chopped up, about a quarter cup if it's really fresh and you can use less if it's dried um, and now we're ready to can it so I've got my jars in the hot water so that they will stay nice and clean I use my jar lifter to 
lift a jar out. This recipe calls for a half inch headspace. It's always important to check your headspace. Just fill up your jar. I've got more than a half inch headspace there, so I'm going to need to take a little bit out. Or rather, I had less than a half inch headspace. Measure your headspace. Wipe off the rim of your jar with a clean washcloth. Put on your lid. Put on the ring. And put it back into your warm water. Now this recipe says it's in, supposed to make four pints, so I'll fill up my uh, jars and see. I always prepare an extra half pint if it's a pint recipe, just in case um, there's a little too much or a little too little of your food to fill a jar because it, the jar has to be full to be able to be canned safely. I didn't have enough extra uh, to fill up a pint, a half pint jar. So I'll just put this in the fridge um, because of course you can't can a jar safely if it's not full. So I've got four pints of relish in my boiling water bath canner. I made sure I added enough water to cover the jars by two inches and now I've turned up the heat. I'll let it come to a full rolling boil and then after it's been boiling for 10 minutes it'll be uh, safe to take out of the canner and all done. Okay my pot's been boiling away merrily for 10 full minutes so I'll turn off the heat and the food should be all safe now. So you just use your jar lifters to take your jars out. And I like to set them on a, a wire rack to cool. It's just a good idea to not set them directly on your cool countertop. So if you have a wire rack or a dish towel, you set them on something like that. Now the only thing left is to listen for the ping of the sealing jar. So it should seal pretty quickly. And then um, you may hear it ping, you might not. There was one, it just sealed in another. It's a good idea to let them just sit for about 24 hours. After your jars have cooled off and sat, um, you can test the seals by removing the ring and hold, picking them up just by the lid on the top. Um, and if it stays uh, tight, you know you have a good seal. If it's not a good seal, put it in the fridge and eat it right away. If it's a good seal, it will last a really long time in your dark pantry. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial for how to make dill pickle relish. Uh, with the Bee and Bear Homestead. If it was useful to you, check out the rest of the channel. I have other canning tutorials and I'm always making more in the summertime when the garden is producing. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Good luck with your garden.